Hi guys, what's up? This is Fatma. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day now. A lot of you guys wanted me to film how I dye my hair with henna. So this is it. I finally filmed it. So I know this is like a vlog style intro but um, I was a little busy to uh, do the intro in my room or in Khadija's room. So here is the intro and uh, I basically um, have only used Saeed Ghani Ki Mehndi and Chai Ka Pani and that's it. I haven't used anything else. Oh no, I also added water so all the details will be in the video and the description so do check out that and if you want more of such videos let me know. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that bell notification and yes there is uh, a giveaway going on on my channel so do check out that i will link it on this side of the video and yeah let's move on to the video now the first thing that i do is add my mainly powder which is three quarters of a cup to a cup it depends on the length of my hair because i have medium length hair right now i use three quarters of a cup then i'll add the water to this mixture so basically this is one cup of hot uh, water with one tablespoon of tea powder and one teaspoon of coffee all the measurements will be in the description if you want to check out also I don't mix everything together I just wait uh, mix a little bit of mehndi with tea and then you know try to make a paste out of it because usually what happens is that I'll make it too watery or too powdery so just give a little bit of patience in the entire process and you will be done also just a pro tip always use a stainless steel dekchi or you can use a glass bowl you don't want your uh, crockery to be stained with mehndi next before applying mehndi to your hair just make sure that um, your hair is detangled properly and you're not wearing any jewelry Next you need to section your hair now. I usually take this much amount of hair when I'm applying mehndi and I wear gloves. You can you have to wear gloves. You cannot apply mehndi with your bare hands. I prefer uh, applying mehndi with my hands rather than a brush because there's something about using a brush that that's just does not work with me. Um, and also the mehndi powder just falls off from the brush for some reason. So yeah. Apply it with your hands. It's much easier and much convenient, I think. Also, don't forget to apply it to your roots and um, make sure the entire strand is um, dyed properly because then you'll have like three different colors in your hair and you don't want that, right? Once you're done with the lower section, just clip on the rest of your hair and start applying it to the middle section. I think the key to the entire process of henna dye is to keep a little bit, no, I think a lot of patience because it does take time when you're doing it yourself rather than someone else doing it for you. Also it is a little bit messy so just don't wear very good clothes when you're doing this. I wore this black t-shirt, no it's a sweater, yeah, a very old black shirt that I'm wearing. Um, when I'm always dyeing my hair because I don't want my clothes to get ruined. The last thing that I do is take a huge amount of mehndi and put it in my hair roots because you don't want your roots to be a different color than the rest of your hair, right? So yes, don't forget to apply mehndi on your roots from the front to the back side. And once you're done with one of the sides, move on to the other side and do the entire same process on the rest of your hair. And always check for places where you haven't applied mehndi properly so that um, you don't skip any of your hair and make sure that you just massage the rest of the mehndi into your hair properly and uh, apply wherever there's blank spaces left on your hair tie it up uh, in a bun and then wear a shower cap wear a shopper wear a plastic bag whatever you want to do and keep it for three to four hours and wash it 
and after washing your hair with shampoo and conditioner this is what your hair would look like and i love my hair especially the red undertone and yeah that's it for the process i hope you enjoyed this video guys if you did please give it a big thumbs up let me know if you have ever tried applying mehndi on your hair and if not would you like to do this because i really love the color how it comes out and basically after every wash the color fades and gives like a nice red undertone to your hair with this variant of the side gunny mehndi that i am using and uh, i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you guys next time inshallah allah hafiz bye bye